Tuberculosis is an airborne infection spread via respiratory droplets. Only a small amount of bacteria need to be inhaled to develop an infection. But not all those who are infected develop active disease. It is estimated that one third of the world's population are infected with tuberculosis. Upon initial contact with infection, less than 5% of patients develop active disease. Pulmonary tuberculosis is the very common type of tuberculosis, but there are several other types of tuberculosis also, such as lymph node tuberculosis, tuberculosis of bone and spine, central nervous system tuberculosis, miliary tuberculosis, pericardial tuberculosis, gastrointestinal tuberculosis, and more. They all are classified as extrapulmonary tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is caused by four main bacterial species collectively termed Mycobacterium tuberculosis complex. We are stained with dye combined with phenol and washed with acidic organic solvents, they resist decolorization, and therefore they are called acid fast bacilli. So the main diagnostic investigation is sputum is positive in AFB test. Pulmonary tuberculosis is the commonest form of tuberculosis people are affected with. Main symptoms include productive cough more than two weeks and in some cases sputum is stained with blood. Sudden weight loss and fever which sweats at night times are common. TB spreads by coughing without covering the mouth and when the patient coughs in a crowded place, bacteria go to other people's respiratory system while they breathe. Treatment method is vary between a new patient infected with TB for the first time and a patient who already has the history of TB. Before coming into treatment method, I will introduce some drugs that are used in TB. Isonazid, Drifampicin, Pilsinamide, Ethanbutol, and Streptomycin. I use letters HRZD and S for them respectively. Let's see how a newly infected patient or a primary tuberculosis patient is treated. Patient is given drugs and monitored for 6 months continuously. First two months are called intensive phase and the following four months are called continuation phase. For the first two months of treatment, drugs HRZ and E are given. That means isoniazid, rifampicin, perzinamide and ethanbutol are given. And in the continuation phase, HR and E are given. Now let's see how a patient with past history of TB or a treatment failure patient is treated. Here the patient is given drugs for eight months continuously. For the first two months of treatment, drugs HRZ, E and S are given. Third month, HRZ and E are given. And in the following five months, HR and E are given. Here we consider first three months as intensive phase and next five months as continuation phase.